Hi, welcome back everyone. We're back in the bathroom for the final day and I wanted to show you the bathroom vanity in the drawers. I have one cabinet and two drawers. I have a very small vanity, very little counter space, single sink, and this is where all five of us get ready in the mornings. So it can be a bit of a challenge, but we're making it work. I did have to adjust a few things. Um, I had to take the toothbrushes off of the vanity, but I'm finding that maybe it's healthier because of germs and things. So I'll show you um, how I move those into the medicine cabinet here, and I will show you the vanity. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. I'm not sure what happened there, but my camera cut off. But this is a look at my vanity. Um, let's see if I can scoot back <clears throat> and show you. It is very small, just the one cabinet and the two drawers. And then this is the um, only thing I changed on the sink. Um, was I put the toothbrushes that were there in this cabinet and his uh, beer trimmer was over here. So we moved that over because he does have to have that setting out. It won't fit into the cabinet. So what I did was I moved the toothbrushes and the kids toothpaste there and um, I actually bought myself a new electric toothbrush that has my uh, Flimpro toothpaste, toothpaste there and my husband's toothpaste yeah. is up with my toothbrush. So those are the only things that changed in the medicine cabinet from the last video. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. Sorry, it's really dark. Let me see if I can get some more light. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help much. Okay, so in this cabinet, this is all my cleaning supplies for the bathroom. I keep... Um, Mr. Clean with Gain. These are just some um, window and glass touch-up wipes. I use those every morning when I wipe off my, I wipe off the countertop. I try to wipe down the window, uh, the mirror, and then I wipe off the toilet and make sure everything's clean there. And then whenever I clean my shower, I use this squeegee to just kind of scrub and then pull the water off of the actual walls and then I have cleansing rags and then on the bottom uh, I put fix it in, in my toilet and let it set and it leaves it really shiny white and those are two little things of trash bags for the trash can that apparently nobody has been using lately because there is not one in there now but that's what's in that cabinet and then the top drawers it's really we don't have a lot of products in our bathroom my vanity holds most of my products and that is in my bedroom and my kids aren't really big enough for products yet, and my husband's not really a products person. So, um, my son's toothbrush was in the cabinet up there, but the girls like to keep theirs down here. So, we have both of their toothbrushes down here. They have their names on them so they can tell them apart. Um, there are a few little clips and things they like to use in the morning. Um, this is an extra razor with the attachments are in the cabinet so that they don't scrape their fingers on them. This is just an extra stopper for the bathtub. Fingernail clippers, toothpick, let's see if I can do this one handedly, uh, pick for your teeth, um, a hairbrush, thermometer, lip gloss, and foot cream for my husband. So that's all really that's in this drawer. That's all that's in this drawer. And the bottom drawer looks even more empty. These are my non-essential items. Um, Sharpie, just in case. I use this um, drain stop, hair stop, to cover the drain when I give the dog a bath. Um, these are extra stickers that go on the girl's toothbrush. Um... This here is eczema cream for my daughter and my husband. They do quite severe eczema. And then my face scrub. And then I do use this most days, but I take it into the shower with me. So I just grab it out of the bottom drawer and put it into the shower. So that's a look at my vanity. There's not a lot to it. Um, not a lot of products in it. I just... I'm trying to keep things minimal and have as little stuff as possible so that there's not a lot of clutter to have to clean because the more clutter you have, the more clutter you have to clean. So I'm trying to live 
minimally. I'm trying to get rid of things and make things as clean, streamlined, and as few as possible. I'm going to be going back to school soon, so I'm not going to have a lot of time to spend here at the home cleaning all the time. And so I want to get it where things pretty much take care of themselves because there's little to nothing to clean. So that's my spill for today. That is a look at my very tiny bathroom vanity. I do wish it was bigger and had a double sink just for ease of getting ready in the morning because five people at one sink in the morning is difficult. We do all leave the house at the same time at seven o'clock. So sometimes I send my husband downstairs to get ready and he just takes his toothbrush down there and uh, comes his hair and stuff down there. But I mean, he, if he has to shave, he does do that up here. So that's a look at our bathroom. You have now seen the entire bathroom. And I think I'm going to video the toy room next and show you that organization. I do have before, well, I don't have, I don't think I have before photos. I have during photos and I have a f back picture of all the bags of stuff that we got out of there. And after organization, you will see in the video. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like videos like this, please click the like button below and, um, if you are enjoying my channel, please subscribe. Leave me comments below on anything that you would like to see. And I will try to get them up as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.